Yeah. People are perishing without the knowledge of God in their life. Yeah. People are perishing without coming to the throne of Come grace. On. Come on. But we, I think we, we might not be healed today, but I definitely believe we are carrying the healer home. Hallelujah. Yes. We might yes. not be delivered today, yes. but I believe we are carrying the deliverer home. Amen. I, I believe that very firmly. That I'm blessed after coming here. Amen. I, 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 I firmly believe Amen. that my yes. life will never going to be the same again. Amen. Because I, I'm going with a heart, you know, yes. where, where where I could share a lot of things with my people. When I see that auntie dancing, maybe she'll be easily 80 years, Sister Joyce. Yes. And how she's uh, uh, giving her heart and uh, singing to the Lord. All these things are something uh, very rare we see in India. And I feel I'm blessed by coming yeah. once again we to this place. To have and I'm literally yeah. floored by your love. Oh, and we have our January Crusades uh, or, or the convention yeah, in man. India. We have it in an open arena. Yeah. And we need your prayers from this minute onwards. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. India is a country where every animal is worshipped as a god. Yes. Yes. So I think uh, uh, unless unless there is so much of prayer coming from all parts of the world, Amen. we cannot be a person who can impact the world in my, my part of the country. And I believe I need your prayers. And I also earnestly request <laughs> Brother Marla to come this year for the convention as a And I'll tell you, whatever we have, we will treat you like kings in India. <laughs> thank you and I thank you. And this is an open invitation for anybody who could come. Maybe Bill or Brother Simba or anyone, any minister can come there. Amen. And you have the liberty to preach the word of God. At the same time, I believe that your entrance into the midst of this community in India is going to impact their life. Hallelujah. And I thank you once again for all the affection you showed towards me. And uh, I would like to share a few uh, words from the Bible. I would like you to turn your Bibles to uh, Ecclesiastes. It's my, uh, before Song of Solomon, the 12th chapter. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. The 13th and the 14th verse. The 12th chapter, the 13th and the 14th verse. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. I would like to dwell with something on the 13th verse. What is the duty of man? And what the Bible says about his duties? If you, I mean, this verse uh, really put a dent in my heart. Because when you look at uh, the duties of man, we have so much of things to do in this world, <coughs> except time for God. But I believe God should be the priority in our life. Right. The first priority. Right. When you take God as the first priority, and He too will take you as the first priority. Right. Right. And in my life, uh, I have personally uh, witnessed this verse uh, becoming a reality in my life. Because the conclusion of the whole, whole matter is this, and nothing else. Only to fear Him and obeying His commandments. Yes. Keeping his commandments means obedience. And uh, the fear of God and uh, the fear of God and obedience go together. You cannot separate them. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because uh, I mean, as children of the Most High God, we, we profess to know, uh, we profess to be called as children of God. But what is, uh, uh, how does our action show that we are the children of God. Right. That is very important. Right. I mean, it's not professing with our mouth that we are Christians right. is important to God. Right. It is yeah. by our actions right. and by our deeds True. which can create an impact uh, not only in our life, but when people see you, they have to call you that you are the child of the Most High God. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. We cannot get away uh, by doing something without uh, impacting the people of God in our life. The Bible clearly talks about fear of God and keeping his commandments. And the Bible says this is the whole duty of man. And when we talk about the conclusion of the whole matter, maybe if you go to bed, you have concluded one day in your life. But did you fear God and did you obey his commandments? 
or we have concluded our convention. When we have concluded our convention, what are we going home and doing? Maybe you cannot be kindled only for the four days and go home dry. Amen. 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 When you go home, you have to Amen. carry that anointing with you. Amen. When you go home, you have to carry that power Amen. along with you. Amen. Because we, we experience mighty outpouring of the Spirit Amen. of God all the four days, Amen. which I have never witnessed before. Amen. And when we have witnessed such a mighty outpouring of God's work in our life, how can we go home dry again and Amen. wait for another year? Amen, Amen brother. Amen. Amen. I, I, I believe we have to go with the fire of the Almighty God. You have to go and ignite others uh, into the everlasting life. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you cannot ignite others, if you cannot uh, uh, be uh, a person who can impact others in your life, uh, Amen. Uh, in others' life, uh, what is the use of living a Christian life? Amen. Amen. Fear Amen. of God and the obedience to this word is very important. Amen. And this is linked up with judgment when you read the other words. Yes, Hallelujah. Because man, how, how, how much we think uh, that heaven is a reality, hell also, also is a reality. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and if you see some people ending up in hell, how awful it is going to be. My God. <laughs> My God. Yes. I, I mean, no one would like to face hell. No, sir. Nobody would like to end up going there. No. So our desire is to see that we sit along with our king on the throne. Yes. That is what the desire for God is also. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he made us royal priesthood in this world. He yes. made us people of power in this world. He made us a separated gener separate generation in this world. Amen. Because he wants <laughs> us also to reign with him for eternity. Amen. That is the plan of God. And if you want the plan of God to be implemented in your life or my life, you first need the fear of God and obedience to his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because this is the whole duty of man. Hallelujah. When you go home, or when you're when you're sitting here, Amen. or when you're when you're in your workplace, Amen. or when you're uh, just lying down in your bed, I want you to understand one thing: the fear of God and obedience to His word is very Amen. vital in our life. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because these two things are linked up with judgment. When you when you really look about uh, lo look at God's judgment, it's going to be when He uh, He might be a God of mercy, Amen. but when it comes to judgment. He will not have mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a, he's a fiery uh, God. And you cannot play with the fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe that everyone sitting here are going to go home ignited with God's anointing and God's fire in your Amen. lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cannot be no more ordinary people in this world. Amen. We are people of power. Amen. We are people of authority. Yes. We are people who can uh, go and show the love of Jesus Amen. and impact Amen. people to the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, was telling you, I was telling you just about 15 minutes ago, about 10 minutes ago, yes. how much of God's anointing or how much of God's grace is upon our life. Come on. If, you could, if you could hear somebody coming and telling their suffering, then you will say, yes, God bless me so much. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Right. When, when, you, when you hear somebody is sick, then you can go and tell, yes, God bless me so much. That, should be. that is the uh, blessings of God upon our life. Amen. When, when, when you are too good with your good health, Amen. I think this is the time to work for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I, I had a friend, I, I don't know whether I told you earlier, his name was Joe. Yeah. And he was diagnosed with uh, blood cancer. And many people told him, you come to the Lord, you serve him, and, and uh, you get saved. He was never listening to anyone. And when he was diagnosed with the blood, can well, blood cancer and he was undergoing this chemotherapy, I think uh, I met him at that point of time in the hospital. I went to pray for him. Then he started to catch my hand and he was crying and telling me, Sam, when I had good health, I did not do anything for my Lord. When my, when my health was intact, I did not listen to my pastor's word. He was literally crying. And I believe that he was totally transformed on his hospital bed. Maybe God takes us through such uh, troubled times, you know, to, I mean, the other, other day the 